What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. A couple of months ago, I made a video about a stock trading bot for Robinhood. And I actually built and coded the bot live with you guys in that YouTube video and then gave away the source code for free. The problem is I know a lot of you aren't programmers and not developers and you don't really understand how to get it running. Well, today's your lucky day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install my free Robinhood trading bot that will trade automatically for you using the RSI indicator. You're able to pick which stock you wanna trade and the amount of shares uh, that you want the trading bot to show you. Buckle in your seatbelts and I will show you how to install this bot. Let's get started. All right, so basically I've exported it into a simple executable exe that you can actually double click on your screen and open it, okay? So the download link is in the description below for the Robinhood RSI bot. And just a disclaimer, right? There's no guarantees that this is gonna make you money. You might lose you money, but simply it buys when the RSI is at 30 and sells when the RSI is at 70. And you're able to pick which stock and how many shares you wanna trade with. So when you open up the application, this is the first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna have to enter your Robinhood email, um, which whatever your account is, um, whatever your email is set up with Robinhood, you'd enter that. You press enter, it's gonna say, enter your Robinhood password here. Okay, so you'd enter your Robinhood password. And then it's gonna ask you for, basically it's gonna say new, no two FA given, which means no two factor given email code. Okay, so you should get an email now um, with a code for your two factor. And after you enter that, the bot will continue and ask you for a symbol and the quantity. Now, if you're not getting an email code, what I recommend is turning off your, either A, turning off your SMS or text message two factor in your Robinhood settings. And you do that by logging into Robinhood and going to account settings, or try changing your email in your account settings as well. I found that sometimes I have to change my email and it resets and then I start getting two factor codes, okay? So once you get your code in your email, uh, usually it's a five or six digit number, um, you'd enter it here. Now, obviously mine's incorrect because I'm not showing you my login information, but let me just forward the video to get past that. After that, it's gonna say, enter the symbol you want to you want the trading bot to trade. So you could say you wanted to trade Apple, you type in AAPL, and then it'll say, enter the quantity and shares you want the bot to trade. So you could just type in one. So it'll trade one share of Apple when the RSI hits 30, and then sell it when the RSI hits 70, okay? And now you can run as many bots as you want to. Obviously running one instance, one executable will uh, only be able to share, uh, trade that ticker. But if you open 10 of them, you could open, you could essentially run 10 bots um, with 10 different tickers. Now, once again, um, the Robinhood API is not officially supported. And there has been scenarios where users have complained that Robinhood has contacted them and saying that, you know, um, basically trading robots is against their terms of service. So once again, this trading bot will work, but it's not officially supported by Robinhood and you potentially could get, you know, emailed by Robinhood saying, Hey, they're basically going to slap you on the wrist and say on the wrist and say, Hey, like this is against our terms and use. If we catch you again, um, they might close your account. Okay. So that's just a sad reality. Robinhood is not friendly for trading robots. Um, I am working on my own trading robot, starting with TD Ameritrade and then moving on to Alpaca. Um, but Robinhood and, and other platforms like Webull, um, they're not really friendly and they, they're not really friendly to developers. And that's part of their business plan, right? Um, they want to, you know, their, their goal is to sell because it's commission free. They sell your data to other high frequency trading firms and hedge funds. And when you run trading bots and say you're trading quite a bit, um, you know, that could mess up their data feed, I guess. Now I've been, I don't run mine. I don't run my, this Robinhood bot every day. I've only run it when I made my YouTube videos for you guys, but I have ran it multiple days, the longest being four days straight. And I haven't had any issues or any contact info or any warnings from Robinhood. So once again, that's only four days, but I think if you, you try this with 20 or a hundred symbols, you probably will get in trouble. So I'd recommend only trying this with one or two to begin with and then slowly add them on. Um, but I wanted to give something for free to you guys and provide as much value as I can with my YouTube videos. And I hope this free uh, auto trading robot uh, for Robinhood can help you out. If you are on Mac, if you have a MacBook or you have an iMac, 
um, you can download a pro, um, sorry, you can download a program called Parallels, which allows you to run Windows uh, as a virtual machine, and then you could run this application. Right now, this executable only works in um, Windows, so you would have to download a separate platform um, or download Parallels or a Windows virtual machine to run this. If you are a developer and you have Mac, um, send me an email, jake at wetradehq.com. It'll be in the description as below, and we can work together to export this to um, Mac so you can run it as an application on your Mac. But right now, this only does work on Windows machines, okay? So there you have it. There's the, the free um, Robinhood trading robot. And once again, the download link will be in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna use this bot, um, if you wanna make changes to it, um, if you are a developer and you want to look at the source code and make some edits, maybe change the indicators or or the logic, uh, in my previous video, um, I give you the source code to the bot and you can actually edit it on GitHub and download it. So uh, be sure to check out my previous videos. And yeah, that's all for today, guys. We will see you next week. Have a good one.